Hey everybody, it's Lee here. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, provide your spare hard drive capacity onto the storage uh, data network using your Mac on OS X. Um, so the first thing you want to do is just open up your uh, Safari browser and go to Google or your favorite search engine. And then you just want to type storage uh, GitHub um, this is basically um, the kind of the uh, downloads area for the various uh, storage uh, programs. Um, so you go to the storage GitHub, and then it's you. The program that you want is the Drive Share GUI, Drive Share GUI. Uh, then if you go across it along the top, uh, click on Releases. If you scroll down, uh, you'll see like a downloads area. You want the one for OS X sixty four. So we're just going to download that. Should hopefully only take a second to download or two. Okay, so that's downloaded. Okay, it's just need to drag it across to our applications folder. Like so. I'm just going to select the applications folder now and then we should see the actual drive share application this is basically the main program that we're going to use to uh, contribute our spare hard drive space onto the network um, if this message pops up the drive share can't be open because it's from an unidentified developer um, you just need to in my case uh, right click and then go to open or you can just uh, click and hold and then go to open on the menu. Um, then this one, will, uh, this secondary sort of message will pop up and then you just click open and it will open normally from that point onwards. So that's just a security feature. We can close this window now. We can close it as well. Um, so the application is just um, running now. It's called Drive Share, by the way. Um, okay, so that should be working, but it's not. So let's just uh, see if we can uh, reopen it. Hmm, doesn't want to work. I did notice in the uh, GitHub there was a There was like a hotfix version. Let's try that. Um, this we want to yeah want to replace it. Um, just overwrite that previous drive share application. Um, now if you try and open this down, let's see what we get. Oh, we need to approve of this. Open. Okay, so on my particular version, I'm using uh, OS X El Capitan. So if you've got the same version of this, you'll probably need to use the hotfix version of the DriveShare application. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna pause it here just for, for one second. Okay, so the DriveShare application is opened. I'm just gonna close these other windows down. I'm just gonna close them in the background. Okay, so this is the actual drive share application. Uh, what we're going to need now is a storage address 
uh, which it will be used for uh, recording our activity on the actual network, basically how much capacity we're putting onto the network, and it will also be used for uh, payouts. Um, so I'm just going to be using this address up here, which is the second address. Um, this is just for a previous uh, versions of the um, the DriveShare application, so you don't need to worry about the rest of it. I'm just using this address here, which is my second address. Um, if you don't already have a an address to receive storage coins, um, the best way to do it, or the way that I do it, is um, just create a wallet at uh, counterwallet.io, which is, creates you a counterparty wallet, um, and then you can use that for receiving your storage. Um, so I've got that address, and I'm just going to paste it into this box here. And the next part is the storage, uh, the address location. Oh, sorry, the actual hard drive location where we want to actually save the files. Um, I'm just going to put it in documents. I know it's not obviously a document, but uh, let's see if I can create a. Okay, so yeah, I went to. Um, documents and I was looking for the uh, context menu because I wanted to create a new folder I didn't want to just put all the data in with the actual documents it would just basically be really untidy so I've just gone to sorry I've just gone to the uh, finder um, and I'm just going to create a new folder in here and I'm just going to call it storage uh, data we can just close the uh, finder now um, this should hopefully refresh so yeah just at the top there we've got storage data um, and we'll select that. That's going to be our saved location. Um, I don't have much storage on the Mac, so I'm just going to select the storage size. I'm just going to go with 25, and then you've just got a drop down box megabytes, gigabytes, or terabytes. I'm just going to go with 25 gigabytes. Obviously, I know it's not a lot, but I don't have very much storage on this particular machine. Um, so you just select that. So that's the address, the location, and the storage size. Um, and then you just click start.